They are everywhere. All wanting is to dig deep into our pockets and purses and feed them. They can do just about anything and miles of wire. They're one of a million or one of a kind. They can be addictive, annoying, and sometimes really weird. Now, the untold story of Coin Operated on Modern Marvels. Inevitably brings you to Farmington Hills, Michigan. Welcome to Marvin's, known from coast to coast like butter and toast. Nowhere in the contiguous United States or other environs is a place like Marvin's. Welcome. Have fun. Just about every inch of ceiling, wall, and floor space is jam-packed. The museum is over 5,000 square feet and has over 1,000 electrical outlets to power all of the historic and modern machines. Marvin's interest in these mechanical wonders began about 50 years ago. When I was in college, I was fascinated by these coin-operated machines, and I started collecting. Well, after I graduated in the early 60s, I couldn't quit collecting. Even though he's a pharmacist every day by trade, he started collecting and collecting this stuff. He overtook my mother's house. 1980, she took me to a food court and thought, what a great place for your dad to get this stuff out of my house and put it for other people to enjoy. Marvin's still collecting. And whenever traveling abroad, He's always on the lookout for unusual coin-operated contraptions to add to his museum. Just recently, going to England, I found another breed of machines. These wooden automata, that the craftsmen are still making these machines there. So there's a, a place to buy old ones and new ones, which I like equally well. Many of the old penny arcade machines have a decidedly dark bent. Intricate motors and gears cause small robotic figures to act out all sorts of ghoulish scenes, including the horrors of the Spanish Inquisition. In keeping with his grisly tradition, Marvin decided his customers might enjoy firing up an electric chair. Now this machine I found as a Halloween prop, and I added a case and a uh, coin accepted mechanism, and watch. <laughs> It may be a little too intense for younger children. Another machine turns the tables on Marvin's customers and delivers a shocking experience. This machine is Challenge Killer Watt, a machine unique to my museum. It was built by a friend of mine, a robotics engineer from Ohio, and the idea of the machine is to uh, keep your hands as long as you can on this handles. Uh, a cute little hero to take on killing one, huh? Yeah. Actually, a little now static electricity is produced. Very light and uh, very uh, non-dangerous, <laughs> but it does give you a little tingle. Well, don't worry. Try a little of this. Whoa. I love it. In the old days, there were some machines that did give you a shock. <laughs> But of course, in today's litigious society, we can't have anything like that. With the right mindset, it's easy to spend a small fortune in coins here. But we're going to drop our last couple of quarters into another one of Marvin's unique machines, Dr. Ralph Bingen Purge, a real showstopper. <laughs> Now that's money well spent. 